Hey, how's it going, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of our Pokemon Nuzlocke. And today, here in Moon Emerald, we are going to be heading under the sea. Under the sea. Yes, we're going to be heading under the sea into the sea floor cavern because that is where we're going to be heading today. Because Team Aqua did steal the submarine a few episodes back, and pretty much, yeah. I have done a little bit of grinding, so we'll do a quick grinding montage. Um, which happened just for this episode and um, we're gonna have the team recap here now so we've got Aqui in our well lord which is level 43 and um, holding the mystic water to power is a water type moves and it's holding it's come on it's got surf water spout rest and zen headbutt next we've got frozen our sand slash which is doing us pretty damn well uh, holding the never melt ice to power up the icicle spear that it has got. So it's got Iron Head, Sword Stance, and Slash. Next, we've got Aura Hour Toke Kiss, which is holding the Lax Incense at the moment. And it's got Air Slash, Ancient Power, Aura Sphere, and uh, Shadow Ball. Don't know why I couldn't get a Shadow Ball out there then. We've got Hilly's Allied Delucidai, which is level 45, holding the Quick Claw, because it wasn't too speedy. I don't think it isn't too speedy still. And it's got Fly, Leaf Blade, Spirit Shackle, and also um, Sucker Punch. We've got Incinerate at level 44 Toko. We did manage to get him trained up, um, which is not got a held item because it just don't have anything for him. And it's got Flamethrower, Curse, Lava Plume, and also Body Slam. And last but not least, we did get Gasty. Which is our Sandy Gas, which is level 41. It does evolve at level 42, so hopefully it'll evolve for us in this episode today. Um, and it's holding the XP share to get that experience. And it's got Giga Drain, Bulldoze, Hypnosis, and Shadow Ball. I do get Earthquake here at some point, so that's going to be pretty damn cool. Um, we've got a couple potions. I might buy a couple more just in case. I think I've got the money for it. Um, now, in between episodes, I did... Um, go and catch the... Oh, we can buy... Well, we'll buy some of those. I did go and pretty much catch all of the remaining encounters which we can get. Um, if I just get the map up one second. I did do um, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, uh, Pacific Log, 132, and 133 and 34. I have been and got encounters. I used it all for training. So this is not much there. I literally went and used it all to battle all of the trainers. You will have seen that in the grinding montage. Um, so all of this area has been, you know, we've looked, we've caught Pokemon and whatnot. So we've only got Evergrande City. Um, I think it's just a victory road now that we've got one encounter which we can get. Everywhere else we've got, other than um, 108, but it's the same Pokemon. So Seabloor Cavern. And Evergrande, not Evergrande, uh, the Victory Road are the only places we can get encounters now. So, we need to be careful with our Mons. Because we don't really have anything to fall back on. So, let's head south. I think I can, is it this? Oh, apparently I've not caught these. Okay. Interesting. Apparently I've not fought them for some reason. For some reason. I guess I didn't come this way, so it makes sense. I'm actually gonna heal. I wanna go into these fights as well prepared as possible. So let's swim south. I think this is it. Oh, we don't have dive. Of course we don't. Because we had Sharpedo. Who was our diver? Um, oh, oh yeah. So here are the encounters that we did get. Um, we've got Toxin, our Marini, which I got on Route One Twenty Nine. Um, Ganache, which was our Evergrand City encounter, and then these two horses. I I misread one of the trades. It said horsey for Bagon. It was the other way around. It's Bagon for a horsey. So I ended up catching two um, on using my. Uh, 133 and 134 encounters on the horses. Not a big deal. So it looks like Jaws is going to have to come with us. Um, I'm going to have to leave Sandy. 
I don't want to because it's the lowest level and I'm going to have to end up grinding it a lot. But it's fine for the time being. So Gasty will have to remain here at the Pokemon Center. So we can actually dive down here. Um, I just want to make sure I get all the items which are down here, if there is any. It's so eerie. I don't like with no music. I don't like it. It's too eerie. Okay, so here we are. So, Seafloor Cavern. So, we can get an encounter in here. Um, oh, yeah. We need Rock Smash and Strength. Ooh. Let's see if Jaws can learn them. If Jaws can learn them, that would be great. He can. He's going to be our HM slave for this one, then. There we go. So, Jaws is going to be our HM slave, and he's going to get us through this place. That's our encounter for this place. I'm a little bit upset. I'm a little bit upset. I'm a little bit upset. I'd rather have not got a Zubat, but... Hey, well, we've got ourselves a fat bat now. Um, do I want to fight everybody in here? Not really. I mean, I can fight a couple of them. Like, they're only level 36, though. So, they're not exactly worth my time. Even though it is experience at the end of the day. But, you know. Anyways, let's see. Now, I do remember how to do this puzzle, so... <laughs> I'm never going to forget these things. I'm never going to forget these things. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, we'll just we'll just fight here. There's no reason not to. So we're okay there. There's no reason not for us to fight these. Bam 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 bam. Oh, is it Shelly? Admin Shelly and Grunt. Persian and a Lipard. Ooh. Interesting duo. Um, I want to see how much Icicle Spear actually does. I'm very intrigued to see. And we are very close to the end of the game as well. So do expect a brand new series to be starting up soon. Do expect that to be happening soon. Because I might end up having to start it just before this ends. Because I am away at the end of the month. So my new series might have to start sooner so I can record a few episodes while I'm away. Felt it, I knew it was going to fall this time, but what can we do? Um, I'm pretty much just going to keep um, surfing. There's no reason not to. Ooh, Night Slash. Didn't get the crit, though, so we're okay. That's going to knock out the Persian. They're going to send out another Mon, and then they're both going to get hit with Surf. Hunch Crow. Ooh. A scary Mon. Hunchko is kind of annoying, not going to lie. Not going to lie, it is kind of annoying. You're not taking me out, Zoroark. Not a chance. Maybe I should have attacked the Hunchko there, just because I don't know if I'm going to kill with Surf. Never mind, I'll lie. Aquain wants to learn Dive. No. Not going to make you learn it. I do want to get Waterfall, though. Because, are you physical? Yeah, you're physical. So, I would rather get rid of Surf and give you Waterfall instead, just because you're physical. Because you're special. It's not that low. But, it's not... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. Right, so, up, side, 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 up. Side, side, up, up, side. <laughs> I told you, never going to forget these things. There we go. Earthquake. Earthquake. Now, I do want to teach this to a few months before we actually get into this fight. So, Aquain, definitely going to learn Earthquake. I am going to get rid of Rest. 
I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Um, frozen. I feel like you should learn Earthquake. You are physical, right? You are definitely physical. Yeah. You're 100% physical. So, yeah. I think you should learn Earthquake. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Slash. Um, earthquake on... Uh, wait, my I can learn Earthquake? Interesting. I don't want to learn Earthquake on you, but I didn't know it could learn Earthquake. I didn't actually check any of my other moves. So, it's a little bit silly of me. But anyways, now we've got Earthquake, we've got a new powerful move which we can be using. And it's unlimited use, which is good. Um, let me just potion up you two. Just in case we do get into a fight. Um, well, we are going to get into a fight, but let's see. Hold it right there. Arr. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is, sleeping in its sleeping form. Sleep in the sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyoga. I've waited so long for this day to come. Ah, it surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. After, uh, but that's all over now. For the realization of my dreams, you must disappear now. Oh, really? Can I get over the Team Aqua and Magma music? It's so gosh dang good. So I will be teaching you uh, Waterfall 100% when you uh, when we get it. I think it's when we get into Sutopolis City, so I will be teaching you Waterfall. Ooh, that was a nice juicy hit. Yeah. My jam. There we go. Ooh, a crit. Nice. It's a crit. Crocodile. Oh, hello. I would have loved a crocodile in this game. I would have loved to have got a crocodile. Oh, he's got... Oh, I, I could have... Damn it. I could have outplayed and clicked Earthquake. Oh, ouchie. That hurt. We're gonna destroy him. And a crowbar. I'm actually gonna use frozen here. Because I'm poison. He can't use any poison type moves and his flying type moves do next to nothing. So a very wise decision. And I'm gonna use Icicle Spear. I don't think Frozen was going anywhere anyway. Let's we'll see how much this actually does. That was a crit. I was expecting that kind of damage without it being a crit. Oh well. That's never ice melted as boosted as well. Ugh. Ice Cold Spear is just not cutting for me, cutting it for me in this game. It's really not. But you know, we have to deal with it. Leech Life is 80 base in this game as well. Shame it does nothing to me. <laughs> Shame it does nothing to me. Oh, I clicked off the screen. There we go. There we go. Level 45, not bad. Oh, oh, oh. I com I commend you. You must recognize that you are truly gifted, Arr, but I have this in my possession. The red orb I can make, Kyoga. The red orb be began to shining it by itself. Who oh, did it? Kyoga has awoken. And he runs away. Off he goes. Bye. What? Didn't do anything. Why did the red orb? Where did Kyoga go? Mm, seems to be a message from outside. Uh, what is it? Um, it's raining heavily. Good. That should have happened. That is why. Uh, that is why we awakened Kyoga, to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. 
What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned. You're in danger. This can't be. It cannot be possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. Hmm. There's something wrong. The Red Orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyoga, but why? Why did it disappear? Why? Hmm. Uh, what have you... Uh, what have you wrought? Achi, you finally awakened Kyoga, haven't you? What will happen if the downpour continues for all eternity? The world's lap mass will drown in the deepest sea. What? what? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? So long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyoga. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you want is the world that we desired. Brandon, come on. You have to get out of here too. <laughs> what? What is this wretched scene? I did. Did I make this horrible mistake? I only wanted. Do you understand now, Archie? You finally see how dis uh, disastrous your dream turned out to be. We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation gets completely out of control. Brandon, don't say anything. I know you have. No I have no right to be critical of Archie, but the things are the way the things are now. I doubt we'll, if humans will be able to capable of anything about it. But either, but neither of we can stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to Archie, uh, to this falls to Archie and me. Iris disbelieves me. Those super ancient Pokémon, their power is unbelievable. Uh, you've upset the balance of nature. And off they go. They just run away like two scaredy cats. And oh, ah, oh, Brandon, how is, uh, how is it happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave has ended, this delusion, a uh, del uh, deluge began. If this does not stop, all of Hoi, no, the whole world will drown. This whole, uh, this huge rain cloud is spreading from above to Trotulus. But what in the world is taking place there? There's no point in arguing here. Trotulus might provide answers. Brandon, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Trotulus. And off he goes. And we're going to join him in Zootopolis. Let's go. Let us fly over there. Du, 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 du. The cutscene begins. We're not center screen anymore. And it rages on. The standoff between Kyogre and Groudon. Look at him going at it! Look at them fight! What are we gonna do? I love how we can surf here. Like, hi! Not interrupting, am I? I'm just here. There's Steven. There was fighting, there was Pokemon fighting, Groudon and Kyoga, two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep. They are smashing into each other with uncontrollable energy. Brandon, uh, you being here now, I'll take, uh, I'll take it to mean that you are prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well then, there's something that like, uh, someone I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Oh really? And who would you like me to meet? Who is this person? Listen, Brandon, does seeing Gradalan and Kyoga make you think Pokemon are being feared, are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really no, uh, really more. Why am I asking you like this? You already know. Indubitably, Stephen, we already know. Stand aside and let us in. Okay, we are here. Inside, you'll find someone named Wallace. Uh, I think you need. Uh, I think what's needed for him to help. Oh, does the cave origin count as an encounter? I'm sure it does. 
Does it, oh, does it have any encounters anymore though? No, it doesn't. No music again. Aha! Ha! I see you are Brandon. I have heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace, and I was once the gym leader of the Thutopolis gym. But something came up. So now I have entrusted my mentor, Juan, with the gym's operations. Garden and Kyoga, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't two, just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. But said that, it was Rayquaza that became, becalmed the, su uh, the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue where Rayquaza's whereabouts is. Oh? Brandon, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is? If you do, please tell me. Well, Cave Origins is where we are now. Map Pyre we've been to, so the only left option is Spear Pillar. The Spear Pillar? Ah, that must be it. It must be the Spear Pillar. Brandon, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head up to Spear Pillar at once. Will? Yeah, you mean you'll run off ahead of me and then I've got to make my own way there. Is what you're Oh, there is encounters. Okay, you're... A duplicate. Oh. There we go. A sable eye. Okay, that hurt. I don't even think I can touch it. I don't know why I clicked that move. I don't think I can touch it. Oh, I can. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> Jemmy. It's Jemmy because it's a female Sable Eye. Okay, so now we need to fly over to Pacific Log. See? Makes it ten times easier when you've already been there, doesn't it? We'll heal up and now we're going to go meet Rayquaza. The super ancient Pokemon Rayquaza. Now, conveniently, I know where it is. Conveniently, I know where it is, so let's quickly wrap around here. Uh, should have popped to repel, because this is Oh, never mind, this is going to be a new encounter as well. I forgot Spear Pillar. Spear Pillar. We're not actually there yet. Oh, here he is. Ah, oh my, I'm terribly bit sorry. In my haste, I didn't even notice I'd left you behind. I've opened the door, lock, uh, the locked door of Spear Pillar. Run it, come on this way with me. Oh, it's an earthquake. There is not a moment to waste. And another one. Hmm. The situation seems to be getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Brennan, requires you should be further up here. I'm not worried about Zootopolis. I've got to get back. Oh, I am worried about Zootopolis. I've got to get back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. Thanks. That's some uh, pressure you've just loaded off onto me. Okay, our spear pillar encounter is a Mistrevers. Which is cool. Um, if we can actually catch it, that is. I don't even think I can hit it. Mmm, shadow tag. It's not even... There we go. <laughs> we'll catch it in that Pokeball. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm going to call you Klein. No, that's not how you spell Klein. Why is it not going B? There we go. Climb me. There we go. A bronze on. Oh, wow. So, that's some super cool Pokemon in here. Go back. Okay. Could they all just like stop? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many Pokemon in here. I know later on, if you ever come back, it's got the 
It's not as easy to just walk through like we are doing now. That's when you actually have to come up and catch Rayquaza, but we probably won't be doing that in this LP because as soon as we beat the Elite Four, the lock will be over. If he is. The monster himself. Ray Ray! <gasps> the Awakened Rayquaza flew off. I love how we awaken it, even though we're not actually doing anything. Um, I don't think either. I think, uh, do you know what? I give me a skate rope. It takes. Yeah, it does. I remember doing it ages ago. Wait, hold on. I've got to jump here. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that ghastly. Right, could you actually not? Like, could you not? Right, thank you. Okay, let's fly to Sutopolis and let's watch the final cutscene. Sky from the heavens, and he comes. And just like that, with one mighty roar, they both sink away into the ocean. Rayquaza's job is done. <laughs> Rayquaza used Hyper Boys. Pokemon disappeared. And that's just like that. They're gone. The world has been saved. And that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like button down below. But for now, I'm going to go out of here. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye for now.